Some of you may have wondered why I keep my properties panel separately docked from all the other panels that I use in Adobe Captivate. And actually one of the reasons is the feature that I'm going to talk about today. This feature is known as the advanced answer option and it's available for multiple choice single answer questions and they can be either final quiz questions or knowledge check questions. And this is a feature that of course uh, because the feature is located partly in your properties panel it's one of those things that not a lot of people know is available in Adobe Captivate. So today you'll learn something about that. So here I have a pretty standard multiple choice question. I'm using it as a knowledge check. I'm providing a little bit of content uh, on the previous slide and then we're going to check for understanding with our with our users here on this knowledge check which happens to be a multiple choice single answer. Now advanced answer option is only available for single answer questions because what it is is the ability to provide feedback and a particular action associated with each one of the question answers. So for example here we've got uh, Stephen Harper is one of my distractors. He's a wrong answer for this question. And uh, obviously my quiz questions are set up, uh, or, or in this case knowledge check questions are set up a particular way. But if you go to the properties panel, select the options tab, you'll see this checkbox for advanced answer options. If I check that off, I can choose any number of actions associated with a user selecting this particular wrong answer. Uh, I could go to the previous slide. I could jump to a particular slide. This would be useful for uh, remediation. Uh, in other words, if uh, a user gets a knowledge check wrong, you want to give them an opportunity to go back and learn what they should have learned in the first place. But you can use pretty much anything, including advanced actions and executing JavaScript and all kinds of great stuff. One option, of course, that's available as well is no action. If you just simply wanted to provide um, a unique caption for that particular or unique feedback for that particular answer, you could select show feedback message. And this is going to create a new message that's specific for when the user selects this as an answer. Now, one thing to bear in mind at the present time, um, this particular slide type or this particular question type with the use of advanced answer options is not compatible with Fluidbox responsive design. And I'm actually going to work on a video in the not too distant future that perhaps provides a workaround for that. I'm currently working on that and of course I'll let you know. But in the meantime, I thought I would share this capability with you. So in this case here, if you had feedback that you wanted to provide that was specific to users selecting this particular question, you can type that in here. So we can be very specific and say, sorry, Stephen Harper is not correct. Click anywhere to learn more about this. So what we can do in this particular instance is set this up that the action goes back to the previous slide, allowing the user to learn this information uh, as they should have in the first place. And you can duplicate this for all of your distractors. And again, go to the previous slide and have a unique caption for that particular feedback. So in this case here, we're uh, selecting Thomas Mulcair. So we might have something similar. We could say, no, Thomas was not elected. And let's just resize this here. Prime Minister. Click anywhere to check this information out or something like that. And again, you can repeat this until you get 
uh, all of the answers uh, with their own unique questions. Now, of course, you're probably going to want to turn off some of the captions that are there by default. So in your quiz panel, make sure that your failure message is set for none. And on the last attempt, uh, you could, of course, make this an infinite number of t attempts because uh, they'll, of course, uh, navigate to another slide to relearn that material. Um, keep retry messages turned off. And on success, you could have uh, go to the next slide where they get to continue with the rest of the project. So I've just gone ahead and quickly uh, completed the advanced answer options for all of the remaining answers. So we should be able to preview this and see how it works uh, in action here. So let's just uh, preview this project here. So here's where the users would have learned that uh, the Liberal Party won 184 seats back in 2015 and therefore uh, Justin Trudeau became the Prime Minister of Canada. But let's say someone decided to skip over this and now they're presented with this knowledge check. So let's try just guessing at the right answer. I'll choose Thomas Mulcair and I'll hit submit. No, Thomas was not elected Prime Minister. Click anywhere to check this information out. So if I click anywhere, it jumps me back to the previous page where I could learn that, in fact, it was Justin Trudeau and his Liberal Party that, in fact, uh, made the uh, form the government in Canada. So let's choose uh, Justin Trudeau and hit Submit Correct. Click anywhere. And, of course, then now I can continue with the rest of my course. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.